Good afternoon, Spencer's own. Good afternoon. Good to be here. Yes. Yes. Happy to be here. Would you guys mind introducing yourself? I'll start with me. I'm Morgan. I'm Nick. I'm Nate. And I'm Quinn. Jordan. And for the people who don't know, we're Spencer's own. Know each other. (laughs) We are all brothers. So um, we grew up together. We sing together, and we play together. Yeah. Absolutely. And that was just, you went into the family business, or was this a, a separate thing? Starting a family business. It was an experiment. <laughs> right, yeah. right, definitely. We, we, we enjoyed singing together. We were, we were on stage with some other things, and we decided that um, we had some voices. Let's put some music together. Let's sing. And when we did that, the harmony, the family harmony, was something that we just wanted to keep doing, and it led us to here. Morgan's been humble because Morgan actually started the concept and the idea of the group. And so he's the one to blame. He's the one to blame, <laughs> right. absolutely. One to thank. Yes. Everybody has as much claim. I just happened to start it. So. Right. Yeah. And the, the project that you guys are working on, uh, talking about, is the song of which I absolutely love the title. Thank um, you. Because I love the concept of living in the moment. Yeah, yeah absolutely. It's our... it's, that's what uh, you guys wrote? Yes, we did. We did. Yes, actually. we did. I mean, I'd say, you know, talk about that idea because that's what we're going to talk well, about later on. Well, so living in the Absolutely. It's a it's a result of we have writing sessions all together and sometimes we'll all write together five together on the song or we'll break up we'll go into breakout sessions which is, you know, like for instance, this one was Quinn and I that went off yeah. into a breakout session. Right. And um, it actually started in the uh, bathroom funny enough and just cuz that was the the available space. And and it's a it's a love song. But the core of living in the moment is about stopping and taking in those moments in life that you need to take in before they're a memory, you know, because there's, there's so many things in life that are a distraction from what's really important. You've got bills, you've got uh, work, maybe you're, maybe you're a student, you've got school that's crazy, and you've got to stop and embrace those moments that really mean something before they're gone. And that's what the song is about. And as I, I did warn you, you know, we're talking about creative courage. You did. Bring it on. So when you, the song's finished, it's recorded, it's all for us, it's ready to go, it's going to be on iTunes at midnight, you're ready, waiting on Twitter for people's reactions. Yeah. What are you feeling? What, what's going on in those moments? I think Anxious. that it's a lot of, it's, I, it's, I don't know if it's anxiety as it much as it's it exciting. exciting. Yeah. Anticipation. Yeah. Very exciting. Yeah. Because our music, we pour our blood, sweat, and tears in our music, yeah. and so to finally, it, and it takes quite a bit of process to start from the napkin idea where you're writing it out, to the process of finally getting it out to radio, and and all those years, and all those, all those, the trials, and everything in between, it's finally here, and it's super exciting to finally get it out, and, and to see, right. see people support, what, you know, your baby that you worked on for... Right. For forever, so that's yeah. it's really exciting, absolutely. And the idea of being creative means being vulnerable. Which sure. Means if you're going to do it anyway, you're being courageous and you're being brave. Absolutely. Yeah. How do you how do you guys handle that? I think uh, being creatively courageous is a matter of finding your inner heart and your soul and putting it out there and not trying to shape it to what you think other people need to hear or need to see when it comes to your inner heart because I think a lot of times people will be uh, tempted to give others what they think they interpret they want to hear or see but courage in that is just being yourself putting your heart out there vulnerably and hoping that um, that yeah, that somebody likes hoping, it yeah, yeah. Just, just being available for it. and that's that's how our music is too you know like we we decided um, early in our writing process and the reason why it works all five of us um, is because we, we kind of make some bylaws as far as what we can what we should stick to when we songwrite and one of those things is that you just got to write and a lot of people call it write for the trash can where it's just get it get it out and every idea is a good idea and we've tried that where you know whoever comes up with the idea they're the they're the session leader and we'll kind of back their idea Instead of you know, instead of well, saying, oh, my idea is better or something like that, you're, it's a creative collaboration together. So yeah. that you're putting more positive energy towards it rather than negative and saying that doesn't work. So the best, the best idea wins, regardless of who had the idea. And right. The person who had a different Absolutely. idea has to let go of 
Wait until the I next time. Attachment to my, my <laughs> line. Well, was sure. And if it's, it's, it's if not it's easy to do. It's all about you, yeah, and it's all about fair. what yeah. you're doing. Yeah. That, and if it's about just one individual, or, or my ideas, or me, or this, then you don't get that creative collaboration, the magic that happens. You know, because you're too busy worrying about your, you know, your agenda or whatever it is, your idea. We've had a lot of trial and error in the in the writing process, but what we always do is we come back to the times that it worked, and the times that it worked was when we really supported an idea and we helped that grow and we encouraged each other rather than trying to find the better idea or trying to take that and make it something because we were inspired a different way. If you can take the the energy and make it positive every time, that's always been when it's been the most well, uh, fruitful for that's, us. That's what it was for our EP that we that we did. I mean, there was there's a song that Nick came out with the idea was called Friends with Money. And it was a ludicrous idea about, you know, living in fantasy, uh, you know. Having your, a friend to have friend. all that money to throw it out and help, yeah. help give you everything. And, you know. and there were several times in then writing that song that it could have very easily been shot down because, we're, you know, it's, it's ludicrous, but it's so much fun. Um, so just it's backing each other's ideas, uh, backing each other's ideas yeah. is, is, is super helpful in the writing process. Is it easier? Because this is a question I don't often get to ask because most people that I speak with are solo artists. Um, or they're, yes, they have a band, kind of, but it's really like solo artists with band. Right, yeah, sure. <laughs> so is it easier? Because everybody has a different comfort level when it comes to this kind of stuff. Mm-hmm. Is it easier to do this? And I'm not even going like into the brother stuff, like just with your buddies. Because um, if like maybe you're having a day where you're feeling a little less courageous, uh-huh. but then he'll can pick you up, and maybe the next day you're the person yeah. who's like, oh, I got this, I can help you. Right. Mm-hmm. Like, is, does it make it easier to Absolutely. not do it alone? That's our five plus. I think you know, like that's what we've labeled it is the five plus because you know if somebody's stumbling up on stage, you know, uh, someone else will pick it up. You know, someone else can... Some can yeah. Whether can, it be physical, whether it be mental. I mean, we've actually had times where we're sick on stage and somebody will actually take that part, you know, and sing that part. Yeah, so, yeah. you know, or mental, like like we were saying. Having a hard time, yeah. It's, it's very much like... Uh, it's, it's like music itself, you know. If you have harmony... It's really tight and it, it flows together and it makes people feel it. But yeah. if you if there's dissonance and discord, then you you don't have that same reaction. And so it's it's that same way with how we approach all of our creative and our on stage and our interactions is that you go with the supportive energy rather than a discord and make it harmonious. So. That wins for the best analogy of the <laughs> <laughs> I like it. I think that's perfect. This is, and I'm sure you know, you've heard this from dreams before. Like this is a slow business. It just is. When things are happening, it always feels like it's going fast. Yeah. Because you're in that whirlwind. Yeah. But to get to those moments. Yeah. It Truly. Is. Um, how do you guys handle that need to stay busy? I think it's. Uh, appreciate where you are. Just, I mean, uh, to go back to the song. (laughs) To go back to the song. (laughs) You know, that's what it is. I think it, I think it's absolutely that and why we wrote the song is because those, if you, if you miss those moments being at CRS for the first time, you know, that's a moment that we're, that we're completely living in and just loving and, and taking it all in and meeting people like you live and, and, you know, when you, when you enjoy the moments and, and take those in when, like we have, the process is just is it's just what it is. It'll be sweeter okay. when you get to the end, or you get to the goal that you want. So, yeah. and how, do, how do you goal set? Like, are you like, here's my short, medium, and long term goals, or do you are you like a long term? We started. Goal? We started. Our dad set us down, and the reason why we named the group is because of our father, Spencer, is our dad. It's a tribute to him. And and remember, one time we were in the we were in the van driving cross country. And he turned around in the in the pilot seat and he was like, "Okay, what are your goals?" And we had silly goals like <laughs> sing on the street corner, or you know. And he's like, "No, like, what do you really want to do?" Like, and, and we didn't think that anything beyond uh, <laughs> singing town. on the street corner. Yeah. So he pushed us. Possible. You know, he said, "Shoot for the shoot for shoot way out there." And we were like, "All right, well, we want to." Yeah, uh, yeah, yada, yada, yada. It was yada, kind yada. of a joke at first, you know. We're like, okay, uh, be on the cover of Rolling Stones, win a Grammy, uh, do... And, and it started to feel really good, but what was interesting is that because of that, we started to actually project that. So our goals became more about making sure that we maintained our belief 
that it was possible than what those specific goals were every time. And if we could just maintain that belief that that uh, yes, we can obtain that, then that was the most important thing. Or that we us. deserved it too, like that we were, you know. Yeah, definitely. We may have been a little naive, but I think that I, that's a great thing that anyone starting out needs to have is a little naivety. And we had a lot of that starting out, so it was good for us. <laughs> In the sense of it's a good thing that you don't know what you're getting yourself into? No, it's a good th- it's a good thing not to, like, you know... Some, pe- stops, some people put you know? too much realism in it and think that, oh, this is going to be too hard. Oh, it's too hard, therefore. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Yeah. Or, or, or that I don't, or I don't deserve. All the statistics and all of these things yeah. that, you know, all these people have tried and look at them or look at this example of why you make, could fail yeah. or this example. It's it's a very valuable thing to get rid of all of that and just look at the things that are possible and what you could do. Yeah. Yeah. So. But one of the things that happened to me is I'd been here maybe like a year, in, well, not just in town, but in the country. Um, Welcome to the country. <laughs> somebody, I can apply for citizenship this year. Nice. <laughs> um, somebody said to me, he's like, oh, you know, I, I can't wait to talk to you two years from now because you're going to be just as jaded as the rest of us. Uh-huh. <laughs> I saw that person heard that one before. three years later, and I went, come here. <laughs> 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 I said, you were so wrong. Like, not only am I not jaded, like, I am more excited. Yeah. I'm more passionate. Maybe That's just good. All of those things more. Um, because I think it was part of that, you know, long-term goals, not, not getting cynical, not yeah, getting bogged absolutely. down into that day-to-day grind, grind, grind. Not and it's good to wake up every day and want to do, exactly. rather than being like, ugh. You know? I have to because right. goal X, or right. I put pressure on myself or something. Is, this, is that something that, because it sounds like your dad is the mental figure in your lives. Is that something He's that parents. Both are parents. Or Both. is it kind of, are you guys just naturally no. that way? He was always a big supporter. The you know him and and our mother, right. they were they were always our biggest supporters and and the reason for the tribute in the name for Spencer's right. own. Mm-hmm. Um, they never pushed us. It was always a you guys want to do this? Well, let's see what how can you do this? And and um, so they bought our first karaoke machine. You know when we were high school and you know yeah. things like that. And I think that yeah a lot of that comes from. From our dad and from our mom. They would say things like, you never use the word or the <clears> phrase, <throat> I can't. Because if you say, I can't, then, then you can't. You're right. If you say, I can, then you can. So whether you say you can't or whether you say you can, you're right. And that was a, a teaching that kind of we, we um, adopted. That's from Henry Ford. Yes, and it is. Right. There you yeah. go. <laughs> a lot of things. How do you guys feel to feedback? Because you have, like, here's our product, it's ready to go. You can't take everything in because you would go insane. Like, right. A thousand opinions. Right. Um, but you need to keep the creative, this constructive criticism, the stuff that's going to help you get that. We're I, just, we're just excited what that. What puts somebody in what group? I think we're just excited that anyone likes our music <laughs> in the first place. Yeah, you know what I mean, so we're, we're so we're just I mean we're so excited that We've been people really have been embracing too. the the song, especially in the EP, and and it's 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 cool. So you know we're we're not going to please everyone out there with our music. It's a little bit. I mean I don't know if it's nobody does. Yeah, I mean. No, those who try, the end of the being is Yeah, which is which is okay with us. We're just we're just excited to have it out and to yeah. to have people actually download our song and listen to it and dance yeah. to it and you know come to our concerts Connect and lose themselves it. in the mm-hmm. moment and yeah. that's what we're all about so you know it's we're open to to criticisms that's that's fine yeah. is there anything that you guys can and i'm looking for like specific situations where maybe you didn't stay as patient as you should have been or you made a decision and a couple of months later you're like yeah that maybe was not the right thing for our band sure we've made mistakes um, along the way <laughs> What put you in that situation? Is that impatience, anxiousness, wanting it too I much, think it, trying to fit in? Like, what is? I think it's just trying anything and everything to make it happen. And sometimes you make mistakes, and sometimes you have triumphs. And and the important thing is that you just keep on, keep on trying. And that's that's I think that's a, a constant theme in our our lives is just you know just get it out there and just do. And that's yeah. what we've been doing. And how, how do decisions get made then within, is it, is it consensus, is it, it, it how do you guys, because that's, that's the other thing of being in a band, it's, if you don't have buy-in from everybody, uh, you get very, very difficult. We, we have the same goal, you know, we have the same goal for what we want, and so it's easy to push in that same direction together. 
um, you know, we'll, we'll have disagreements on things, but but for the most part and as a whole, it's you know the same. Goal. It's a consensus. Right. Everybody yeah. everybody has their input on a on a decision, and we we definitely come to a we, we be often, unified over it's, it. Or won't, we won't it's often a majority uh, a majority decision. So if three of yeah. us are for it, two of us are against it. What I found is really interesting with us, is at least in my experience, if I've been in the majority, I always adapt because it's always for that that same yeah. goal and it doesn't it doesn't irk you or make you frustrated you just adapt and you go with what the majority is and it, and it just works it's and again it kind of comes back to not uh, taking the ego out of it yeah yep. absolutely and sure following the best idea would you repeat what you were saying i was just saying it's got to be unified because if it's not then you won't succeed you know if we're all separate directions running back and forth then we won't be able to come together and succeed what we're really trying to do so it's very much a unified decision whenever we come to that decision I like that and one of the things when I work with people that I, I kind of force people to do um, is thinking about your decisions because it's and everybody has those moments that you can think back on something and you think man what was I thinking well you weren't That's I think right. Right. I think Kenny Chesney said it best think about what was I thinking it means you weren't thinking at yeah. the time yeah. Yeah. Um, Kenny Chesney said it best you can't hate where you come from right oh, so he is a yeah. genius. absolutely yeah. 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 absolutely so we we kind of adopted that too I think it's just a genius statement you know can't hate what got you here yeah, yeah you learn from your mistakes when you make those you just got to stand back up and keep yeah. going when you fall well one of the because you know I'm sure it's the same but for you guys like for me everything is songs and lyrics and music mm -hmm. um, and my example of that there's a line in a Jason Mraz song in I'm Yours where he says I reckon it's again my turn to win some or, or learn some mm -hmm. it's not win or lose it's win right. or learn like, yeah oh, yeah, like, that. like how fantastic is that? Like, yes, <laughs> yeah. you, learn, you learn stuff. Yep, there are no mistakes, there's only results. And I think that, that when you make a mistake, a lot of times that's your biggest learning experience to give you the results that you really want. But that moment will, <laughs> when you realize. <laughs> and it can that's be one tough of the, sometimes. One of those what moments, those, are, like? those like are tough. That, that moment when you're, you're face down, got it wrong, you're, that, you're not that's yet tough. back up, you haven't yet re realized what the lesson is, what's going that's on. Actually, that that's actually a theme in our music video that's coming out. Um, there's, there's a guy that's going through it, and he's, he's at that moment of what do I need to do to fix my life? And to you know, like, what what is it that I'm doing wrong, yeah. and how do I overcome it? And it's it's a it's a cool it's a cool part of it. That is that is one of the moments in life that you shouldn't pass on, you know, or that you shouldn't pass by, and really just learn from it. It's okay well, to feel too. Good. Yeah. But it's hard because it's that moment and for everybody. Whatever your face down moment is, like, man, that sucks. Like it's hard. yeah, yeah. And no matter how much experience or how successful you get, it never stops being hard in that moment. Absolutely. Yeah. But hopefully what gets shorter and shorter is that recovery time. Yeah. Sure, yeah. Absolutely. Um, you seem to think you're like, yes. I agree. I agree. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> what still feels, as you kind of, you know, you're, you're one song in, and you got a lot more road experience than you know, last year, what feels like the fun part of the the writing and the performing and the business side of things and what I'd say, feels the I'd say the vulnerable part is not knowing, is having that that desire yeah. but not knowing where that's all coming, just trusting and just moving forward and enjoying what you're doing and not worrying about the outcome but just moving forward and enjoying the moments. Living in the moment. Living, Living in the moment. Exactly. <laughs> it keeps coming up. Uh, we're going to end with a very much more lighter question. Uh -huh. um, and this will be interesting in a, in a group of people who know each other really well. Um, if you had to create the soundtrack to your lives, so songs that you grew up with, that kind of songs that are like your friends, you know, songs that are important to you. What makes that record? Oh, there'd be a little bit of Aerosmith. There'd be a little bit of Journey. There'd be a little bit of Wes Khalifa. There'd be a little bit of U2. A little bit of Brooks. A little yeah. bit of. I mean, we we have such a palette of inspiration to, that we pulled from, you know, and um, so the soundtrack would be very colorful for sure. Oh yeah. yeah. Anybody else? Any specific songs? Very much agree, yeah. Well, when you were Rolling asking song. that question, I was thinking, like, when we were really young, and, you know, the our mom had us listen to classical music. That was kind of the thing. And then we would, you know, we wanted to listen to our own music, and so Michael Jackson, you know, there were, there were all yeah. these different things that, uh, I mean, that we would listen to and 
make a part of our palette. So, so. How, how are the ages? Who are the older brothers? Who are the older brothers? Jordan's, Jordan's the oldest. Jordan's Quinn's the youngest. I'm the youngest. So, and who was like the, the, the bad influence on like music? <laughs> <laughs> so, it's like I'm the youngest person in the family, and I think you often are exposed to things you wouldn't have been because you're older. We were all self discoverers. <laughs> I was like. I think we some gangster rap. Truly, <laughs> I, think, I think we all brought in our own styles of yeah. music into it. I mean, there was there was so many things that we would introduce to each other. Yeah, and really, so yeah. still doing that. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, that never stops. Like it's nah. that Because if that's you know question that comes up next year, it's a different answer. Cause right. Like new right. Stuff new that, music. Yeah, new things that connect. And, all right. Thank you so much. Well, thank, you. Right. thank you. Thank you. Thank you.